I'm Maddie. And I'm Simon. And it's time to answer more of your amazing animal questions. We love all of them, so do keep them coming in. Yeah, so the first one is from Tankatiri, who asks, are there any animals that can live longer than humans? Yeah, there are loads. <laughs> <laughs> um, there was an orca found off the west coast of America, who's thought to be 102 wow. years old, wow. and a sturgeon caught in Wisconsin, who's thought to be 125 years old. Wow, that's amazing. But the longest living mammal, they think, is the bowhead whale. Researchers have found ancient harpoons in their blubber made from stone and ivory. And these harpoons haven't actually been used since the 1880s, so they're now pretty old. And then they took DNA measurements from their lenses in their eyes, and they uh, aged one particular bowhead whale to be 211 years old. My favourite oldie of them all <laughs> is called Adwaita. Okay. And it's a giant Aldabra tortoise and is thought to be 255 years old. Wow. I mean, why? How, why? Why is it so old? Okay, well, take giant tortoises, for example. They yeah. evolved on island ecosystems where generally there weren't any major predators. So they weren't rushing around trying to mate with as many animals as possible yeah. before something ate them. So they just, just chilled out. So they're yeah. just conserving their energy. Yeah, exactly. Some animals are thought not to age at all. Take the lobsters, for example. Once they reach adulthood, they show no signs of ageing. So we think they reach about 100 years old, but actually they could live for far longer. But I assume that n not many actually live to 100 years old because they get coarse. Well, or potentially. Eaten. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. But how, how, how does that happen? Well, the secret to their ageing success is an enzyme known as telomerase. And telomerase. that basically, yeah, that helps protect their DNA, keeps them youthful and keeps them healthy. Surely someone's put that, that, whatever you said, <laughs> in a cream or something. It would that make needs sense. to be yeah. in some sort of anti aging cream. <laughs> yeah, but then there's another animal which has taken the boundary of age to a whole another level. What's the that? immortal jellyfish. Scientists believe that every cell in an immortal jellyfish can transfer and change, transform into any other cell in their body. So they can basically hop back and forth between their youthful polyp stage and their adult familiar kind of bell shaped structure. So they can just pop back and forth. Just keeping re keep reborn. Yeah, and they're going to be a teenager, no, I'll be an adult, and they like can. Doctor Who. Yeah, so they can live forever. Okay, so the next question is from Rachel Sheridan, who asks yep. Why do crabs walk sideways? Well, actually, some crabs prefer to walk forwards and backwards, more so than walking sideways. Yeah, and actually, some of the crabs that you might see walking sideways, they can also walk forwards and backwards as well. Mm. It's just that it's far more efficient for them to walk sideways. Yeah, and a lot of that is due to their shape and lifestyle. So crabs need to be able to hide in small crevices. So they have this wide, flat body shape, which yeah. is covered with a carapace to protect yeah, themselves. Yeah, they're all kind of squashed into kind of that flat shape, aren't they? Exactly. Yeah, and their joints are actually have quite a limited range of motion. Mm. So for example, oh God, they don't have uh, anything as flexible as like a ball and socket joint here, and they're actually more like the, uh, our knee joints. So for example, their knee really only kind of goes in one plane, <laughs> sorry Maddie, it doesn't really go left or right like that. So as a result, it's much easier for them to go sideways. Yes, but I'm not a crab. <laughs> There's also a massive advantage to walking sideways. We have so many limbs, they just don't get in the way as much. Like yeah. If an animal with so many legs tried to walk forwards, it would be terribly clumsy. Yeah, they kind of don't trip over their yeah. own feet, do they? But actually, crabs can reach some pretty high speeds. The fastest crab on the planet is the ghost crab and that can run at about one metre per second, which is pretty quick. And actually, ghost crabs have three different gates, much like a horse. So they can walk, they can trot, and they can even gallop to get to their highest speed. No and, yeah, way. It's amazing. And actually, when they do gallop and reach this one metre per second speed... Sorry, I'm just thinking of a trotting crab. Yeah, and that's me. <laughs> Right? Yeah. We should do that in slow motion. It would look incredible. Yeah. But what it gets better because when they do reach their high speeds, they push so hard that all eight legs actually come off the ground, much like a horse or even us running. The flying. Yeah, a flying. The Usain Bolt crab. of the crab world. Yeah. It's amazing. So thank you so much for sending in your comments. Uh, we love answering your questions. Yeah. And obviously share this with your friends, and we'll see you soon on Earth Unplugged. Yeah. Bye. Bye bye. Counting you down for the record in three, two, one, go. Sorry, that one's on your <laughs> eye. Oh no. Don't squint. Don't move your lips. 30 seconds. Oh, you're doing quite well. Stay there. This is not good. <laughs> Talkative two outlived the dinosaurs. Just why some creatures survived and others didn't is still unanswered. But by studying these survivors, scientists are getting closer to a possible explanation. 